a good update here. More than yes. a week after a Michigan man captured a picture-perfect image of a man proposing to a woman on a cliff, the mystery couple is revealed. Yeah, social media has helped solve the mystery. Dia Davidson joins us now with that and more in the buzz. Ladies, always good to see you. See, great to see you guys out there. It was a beautiful moment on Taft Point in Yosemite National Park, but the photographer Matthew Dipple of Michigan had no idea who was on bended knee or the identity of the mystery bride to be, but he posted the image on Twitter asking people to help solve this mystery. And the post was shared over 150,000 times just since October 17th. And finally, Charlie Vo spotted the picture and realized it was him and his fiance, Melissa. Vo wanted to give Melissa the perfect proposal spot, but it was a complete stranger who gave them the perfect memory. The happy couple is set to wed this April. They will tie the knot in Malibu and say they would love to have Dipple take the pictures at their wedding. Oh, wow. how awesome. That's awesome. You know, I guess they thought they were doing it in a sort of a secluded private yeah. spot. Yeah. <laughs> Pros, yeah. there's no such that thing. Picture you know? someone's amazing. always watching. Mm, exactly. Exactly. I mean, I feel like that's yeah. a picture that you could that could get an award. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, for sure. It's mm -hmm. Really, because it was so organic. That's mm -hmm. what's so amazing about yeah. not only it's so the gorgeous. lighting was perfect. They oh, picked yeah. a perfect time yeah. for the lighting for a picture. And I'm then so, so glad special. They it them is. Down. It's, it's like a spiritual kind of a thing right out there in Yosemite Park. And then to have that happen there too. Yeah. I can't imagine what their wedding pictures would look like in Malibu. I'm sure he's probably already thinking, how can I frame it? How can I do it? in Yosemite, wedding in Malibu. They're doing it right. Right. They sure are. Yeah. But how are they possibly going to get better photos than that one? Yeah, and you know, know he's probably sweating now. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> how do I one up that All one? Right. Huh? Okay, well, how about this one? 250 people formed a human chain to help a community bookshop in England move to a new store location. A rent increase left them not able to afford their old spot. So volunteers gathered last Sunday to carry more than 2,000 books about 164 yards to the new location. The store founded in 1977 is described on its website as a not-for-profit cooperative radical neighborhood bookshop that promotes a fair and equal society with workers and volunteers from many different backgrounds. All of the money raised goes right back into the business. The store was able to raise $640,000 to buy its new location using crowdfunding, donations and loans. Wow. The that's power so cool. of people. Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That is 2,000 cool. books. That's a whole lot of books. This reminds me of that little bookstore. Which Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks movie was it? The one oh, where she you've got mail. Yes. You've got mail. Yeah. She had the little bookstore and it, it was, was so, so cute. Point. Fighting yeah. against yeah. Fox books. I know. The big one. <laughs> the Fighting big against man. the big man. Yeah. That's really neat yep. that they had all those people turn out. I mean, that that's cool. just cool. And then that's to raise the money needed too because they're not for profit. So they're not making a whole heck of a lot of money. So that's great. That's for that. And here's another one. This will melt the hardest of hearts. Take a listen. USA Olympic track and field star David Verberg sprinted into action to save a little turtle from being hit by traffic in Florida. Verberg says he almost hit the turtle himself, so he pulled over, ran across the road, scooping up the little turtle and running with it to safety. And of course, like with everything, caught on cam. Verberg says he sticks his neck out for turtles <laughs> whenever he sees one. So give this guy another gold medal. See, even the biggest of guys yeah. have a soft spot. That's and it was clocked as the quickest turtle rescue on record. <laughs> it was. I know. People at first, if you didn't see the turtle, you're like, why is this guy running across the intersection? Yeah. And, you know, well, once that, was saw it, that, that was a big turtle. That was a big turtle. turtle. That would have probably been, you know, kind of a hard hit for mm -hmm. his, any vehicle oh. that would have, you know, yeah, so he probably not only saved the turtle, but saved some folks too as well. Alignment exactly. on the <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and that's today's buds. All right, Dia, thank you. Stick around. We've got more traffic and weather coming your way next here on LEX 18 News at 4.